Hi, I'm Rebecca Gregg and this is my video of how to maintain and clean a bow saw. So here I have my bow saw and this is the guard currently that's on. And let's say I needed to check my bow saw, I would make sure I wasn't around anybody else. I could either be outside or inside, but just making sure that nobody else is around me. And what I would need to do is to check first. So I need to remove the cover. So here is the blade and these are the teeth. So if we just look at checking first, the way you would check is to see if any of the teeth are rusting. And this one's relatively new, so it's not rusting at the moment. So what I would do is just check it by ensuring that they're sharp enough. And as I said, because they're not rusting, they are still sharp. Um, if, for example, this wasn't a newish bow saw, what I could do is replace the blade. So I'm just gonna put the cover on just to show you how I would do this with this model. Lots of bow saws are different depending on the manufacturer. But the way I would replace this blade, if it needed to, is there is a nut and bolt here, so I would unscrew that. Then that would loosen off here, and then I just unhook the other part here. And then I would just get a new blade to put in there. But as I said, this is quite relatively new. So the way I'm going to maintain and clean my bow saw, I've used it a few times now, so it's not you know, massively dirty or rusting. But if I did need to clean it, what I would just use is a cloth with a bit of oil on it. And I would carefully make sure that all the teeth are clean so I'm not getting any rust. I would need to do this on both sides. If I notice that some of the blades, some of the teeth aren't as sharp as what they need to be, before I would replace it, I would potentially file some of those little teeth. So what I would do is I'd put it safely down. And again, I'd need to do this on both sides, but with a file, what I would do is sharpen both sides of the points. And that way it would make it sharper to go through wood and things like that. So I could do that if I didn't want to replace the whole blade. But let's say I've done all of that, put my cover back on, make sure it's safe. Guard back on. And you need to make sure that your bow saw is in a safe place, so a toolbox, but to ensure that it's in a dry place as well, because you don't want any wetness near this blade because that will then cause rust. Okay, bye.